My name is John Spinks, Senior Principal Technical Marketing Manager for Red Hat Insights. One of the new features that we have within Insights is for our malware detection service, where you can disable and enable signatures. This is very useful in the event that you have a false positive, or maybe you are using a test signature to make sure that the malware detection service is, is meeting your needs. That's the scenario that I'm going to show you, is we have an EICAR signature and the EICAR test suite, which we're going to leverage here. Well, go into console.redhat.com now. And from the search, I'll search for malware. And we'll start with malware signatures. Currently, I have no active malware matches, which is exactly what I hope you see. I'm going to go into my system. EICAR.com has got a number of tests available for you. And these are basically just files with a signature in place that you can curl onto your system. So I'm going to drop four different curl commands here. And if I look now on my home directory, I have these four files. What this should result in is four matches through the malware. Now to actually run the malware detection service, there's a different command I need to run here on this host. Insights client dash dash collector malware detection. This does take a couple moments to run as it goes through the file system. Uh, depending on the size of your file system, this can be a couple minutes or it could be an hour. It could be a really long time if you have a very large file system with lots of files for us to inspect. Essentially, we have from IBM a set of signatures that we're doing a signature matching comparison with. The malware detection services leverages a open source tool called Yara, and we're doing this Yara signature matching. If you'll notice on the screen here, I do have four different rules already that have matched in the home directory. Those are the four files that I curled onto my system. So give us another moment here, and we'll let this scan complete. All right, so that's completed for me. It took about two minutes for me to run this file system. Of course, it's a lab machine, uh, but we did have our four rule matches, which is what we expect. Now we're returned back to the Insight screen, and we're going to force a refresh on the page. And there we go. We do have an active malware match now. So as expected, this is our EICAR test signature. It's present on just one system. So if I expand that out there again, this is the system I was just working on, and I've got four total matches. If I expand this out, it will show me that each of the files that I hit, so eicar.com, eicar.com.test, eicar.com.zip, and eicar.com2.zip. So these are four different tests that we're doing with this eicar package. We've 100% passed, uh, but now I've got this match showing up in my environment. The proper way to clear this is to unregister the host, remove the malware, re-register the host. But if I'm going to do this on a series of systems, it's a lot of work. So the easiest thing to do for now, if you're just, maybe you're taking a break, is let's hide this signature. I can just go right into the signatures page here and go back one. Yeah, car AV test. Click these three dots and I can disable this signature from the malware analysis. So now that I've disabled it, no active malware matches are found. But that result still exists. It's just filtered out of my view. I can see up in the top here that I do have one disabled signature. And if I select that disabled signature, it's going to show me this EI car. It's got a disabled tag on it. It's not giving me any information because I'm not doing any active scanning with this particular signature. So if I need to enable it, click the three dots. Enable signature. And now it's back in my list and I can clearly see that I again have this particular signature. It has indeed matched and I'm able to easily filter this out of my view by disabling the signature and enable it again when needed. So really simple signature, but meets a need that a lot of people have asked for. Hope this helps and see you on the next video.